over. Last mission, last mission. The final boss mode. Boss mode. Yeah, so next, the other card, which was the afternoon card, sort of like the appetizer, was uh, Demetrius Andre making his, I believe, his fourth title, fourth title defense of the WBO middleweight title against his Mando, uh, Liam Williams. Now, we all, you know, we all, we previewed this fight because, you know, Liam Williams, you, thought, you know, he talked a good game, and, you know, puncher, you know, he was, he was talking that shit to him. And, you know, I was like, okay, you know, he's, and he's not like, you know, the other, some of the other, um, Andre and opponents that were just like no hopers pretty much like dude had you know dude had his uh, credentials or whatever so yeah, like, what a seven fight uh, KO street he, he yeah. was a live body he was something different for uh, for, for Demetrius right yeah he had actual momentum he kind of talked up this shit you know got, got a little bit of fan support behind him so had not, this was had a, never, yeah had never been KO'd in his not even in his losses so yeah, he was he was good, you know. So yeah. it, was a, it was an interesting fight for Andre's standards, and I yeah. would say it would be a, a real good fight if it was Jamal Charlo's standards. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, though, no. but the fight itself, though, now I mean the fight itself was typical Andre, but Williams at least did something it was more, more entertaining like, though than normal. Yeah, it was more entertaining. No, okay. and partly, if you could say that, okay, maybe it might be a little rust. And partly because Liam Williams did not stop coming, like you know. Although I thought it would be an early night for him, because you know, as we all know, Andre likes to start off strong, like super strong. Like, you know, like in the first couple rounds, dude is a finisher, you know. And you know, Williams was putting that pressure on him, but you, you know, he. But then uh, Andre had to let him know that you know he can punch at that weight. You know, and the one two almost had him out of there, like, you know, for the night. Yeah, that shit was like that that shit reminded me of Monster. Yeah, you know, that like, shit just flowed so smooth, like ba ba boom. Oh. Yeah, the first three rounds looked like it was gonna be like, you know, out by six, but shit. Yeah, Liam just kept pushing and pushing. Yeah, and then Andre when it, you know, he settled into his first gear and you know, you got some Andre performances. Although Andre though was throwing them uppercuts, boy, like, you know, dude, dude was Dude was ripping those uppercuts through the guard. Like Oh night. It, it was hard uppercuts. It was catching them flush throughout the fucking fight. Like like I thought Andre won like clearly. But like he, he like he, he worked for it. But Andre, I'm sorry, but uh Williams Williams a tough dude. Like uh, yeah, he took uh, some punishment. Yeah, like I mean, they, 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 I honestly didn't know. Like I mean, there was full uppercuts. I, I was, I was, I was thinking that we were gonna see an uppercut season highlight because the way he was getting, like, he got hit by uppercut at least for at least six rounds of that fight, at least. You know, he, was getting hit. he probably got hit with an uppercut like three times for every, in every round. <laughs> he need that uppercut staff for that fight. You know, but but dude was gritty though. I mean, his best moment in the fight though was. When he actually landed a really nice right hand, you know that kind of that had Andre doing a little dance. You know he, you know he did a little huckle buck or whatever. But Andre, but, but I don't know if it's close because it looked like he played possum a little too. Like he went into the ropes kind of deep, but it never felt like he was hurt. Like he was. I mean, it didn't look like he was gonna drop though. No, he looked like he was up, but it was clear that you know he did, you know he did a little stutter step or whatever. Like I mean, yeah, like it was noticeable. I, I get it, like, but, but it, Williams ain't capitalized. He ain't jump on him. Yeah, no, because Andre. One thing that Andre knows how to do, and this is why it makes it hard for people to actually fall off punches. Andre knows how to clinch. Like he's schooled. He's too schooled in clinching. Like you know, he and gets he's strong too, and, and he's, he's strong. Tall. Yeah, he's he got strong, that big and athletic. Yeah, he, he, he yeah. Like people, I don't know what it is, but people be thinking like Andre is like some fucking like easy fight. Like, like you ain't gonna be clinching that man. Like, like, like he's some bitch or something. Like, yeah, no, yeah, you know, it, yeah, it's 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 not possible. Like, yeah, Andre for uh, for his Andre has a lot of slippery, uh, slip, slippery, slippery skills. He, he, I mean, no, he, he just makes a lot of dumb mistakes sometimes. Like, he, like. Just the, he takes more hits sometimes, like that he should. That he, sh- but like when he's on, he's on. Maybe it's just how he plays to his. He's one of those he plays to his competition a little bit. 
Play yeah, but by the time you, just, you don't ever see any you know, like there's you don't ever see anyone hit combinations on that dude. Like you hit him with one. That's good what one. I'm saying. Like even even for all the nitpicking people doing his defense, dude, defense is still like first class, man. Like I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, it's, it's not clear. You can't. Yeah, like, he, I mean, he and, never like, gets hit with, with more than one big shot at a time. If it's an, even a big, even if if you even want to call it a big shot. Mm-hmm. He doesn't yeah, like, you like, see like, like, combos on him. I mean, it says it like I mean, I mean, he's only been down twice. I mean, one was kind of a flash because, and the other one was a legit one from Mario Rosen. And then Mario Rosen, and then and that had that was a time shot, you know. And then yeah. from you know Andre going backwards, like and even then, like you know Andre still got up. Like you know, it's hard to hurt him and fall up with a shot because he, he either he gets on his bike or he ties you up immediately. I mean, he's dangerous backwards. How many times? You call Williams with a, a, a mean right hook or a left hook on the way in, and it just rocks, dude. Like, mm-hmm. and he pulls up from like different angles that you don't see him. And some of those uppercuts is coming from his knees and shit. Like, yeah, like you don't want to walk into them type of punches. The angles are wild, yeah. How you just those punches out of nowhere is just kind of crazy, man. Yeah, and yeah. this is backwards and forwards. Like, a lot of people think it's te- like. It looks to the to the untrained eye. It looks telegraphed out, but the trajectory of the punches, mm-hmm. he knows what he's doing. Yeah, no, he absolutely does know what he's doing, man. And like I said, Williams, like dude, it's tough to actually take the type of the type of, take the type of uppercuts he was taking from that guy. Like how he yeah. how he did not go down again is 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 is, is amazing though, but. And and he, he, came, he, he came br- close. He came close. He was taking some taking some hard taking punishment, but he he willed himself to the finish line. So, yeah, yeah. he did. And he, and he, and he you know and he, and he and he did himself proud. Like he, he had nothing to worry about. You know he had nothing to be ashamed about. Like, but I mean he definitely lost that clear. I mean, I mean two of the two of the cars were wide, and then you know the the, the one that wasn't. I mean that was like one sixteen one eleven. You know and that's pretty much. You know what everyone kind of expected. Like it wasn't a close fight, but Williams was in that fight from one to twelve. You know. Yeah, he was. He was in the fight a few times. It looked like he was ready to go, but yeah. you know, like I said, he always willed himself back. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a good Andre fight, and um, people got to see him get tested a little. Yeah, he, but... he felt more composed. You know. Yeah, but but like we mentioned the other night, though, Joe. I mean. You know, just just because he got touched up a little bit doesn't mean that you know certain fighters will touch him up. Like like I said, Andre is a style is a style clash for, uh, for for wrong for a lot of different fighters. You know, like I mean, doesn't mean that Canelo you know, Canelo has no engine and he's flat footed. He 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 he'd have issues. With, uh, I, 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 I'm 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 a little annoyed because these motherfuckers they try to like. They're trying to they try to act like Andre this fucking Tevin Farmer. They're trying to Tevin Farmer this nigga. Like, nah. <laughs> exactly. Thank yeah, you. Say not. it again for the people in the back. Like they really He's not Tevin Farmer. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, every any the other champion well, except for Murata. I think Murata would Murata would get his ass beat by Andre. You know, but you know, but Charlo or Golovkin would have, you know, would I mean they they it wouldn't be an easy fight for them. They and yeah. we, like they, 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 it, Even if you had them favorite, like there's a good chance they could lose. Yeah, and and also Canelo too. Canelo can also lose. if of he course. tries. If Andre wanted to go up to 160 and get it in, you know, get his Mando shot, you know, he yeah, Canelo would have issues because Canelo doesn't. Canelo would duck him. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna say it until I'm gonna say it until they fight, bro. Like, I, I'm sorry, like. It, it, it just, it, it, you know, it just kind of irks me how people don't notice this shit, like, bro, like, no, yeah, I mean, we get it. I mean, yeah, the, the worst thing was, like, yeah, we mentioned yesterday with the whole Darianchenko. Darianchenko is not, will, will never beat Andre. It, at this point, he will probably, probably have struggled beating any top middleweight. Cause he's That's what I'm saying. Like, like, right he's now, he rock is a good fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but don't think Andre is just some like, you know, his title defenses are like, because like I said, he wins them pretty wide because he's a hard guy to touch. He's a hard guy to hit, hit clean. Like, you know, you got, like, it's not, I mean, 
and he he's, discouraged he's, discouraged people. He's like the king of discouragement. Right. So it's like I mean, and it's a shame that like I said, you know, Saunders fight didn't, you know, had to fall through, and that could have been that would have been his marquee fight, you know. Yeah, and, and, and against someone that someone that has a similar style. <laughs> just but not See, and that, and that's that's the point I'm making, bro. Like everybody keeps using that shit like, oh, you know, Canelo's not avoiding Andre because you know, he's trying to fight Plan, uh he's fighting Saunders. They have a similar style to Andre. I'm like, Yeah, but they're not Andre. Yeah. Like yeah. Andre does that shit. I don't I don't, I don't I, wait wait, whoa, whoa. I don't fight Andre and plant similar at all. What the fuck? Dude, look, people say because they're southpaw and they move around the ring. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, I don't see that. They're they're, see they're, that. they're not they're not alike at all. Like, then, dude, people, dude, like, oh my, you got people, you got like people in the boxing media who say this shit all the time that they have a similar style. Hmm, no, no. Southpaw, oh, he boxes and he moves. Kind of gas uh, out a little off, bit. Uh, I guess no, Andre, Andre is more slippery. He has better footwork. He, uh, where, and he's you know, a better I'm, puncher. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 what I'm saying, Andre does what Saunders could do. But Andre does it on a whole higher level. And then he adds way more shit to it. But people just get away with saying, Oh, they got a similar style because oh, Andre can box and move, and he's southpaw. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. So they giving Canelo a pass for fighting guys like Saunders and, 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 and Plant because they they can box and move, but it's like the dude who's the ultimate boxer, moving puncher, agility, defense, slippery, all of that shit. You not fighting? He didn't have this threat around you since 154. Yeah. Mm, yeah, he already, that's, that's what I'm he already said he's boring, so he, that's kind of a a slight duck, I guess. When he did that, said that boring. Oh yeah, no, yeah, like Lord is not boring. He, he fought him. Come on. Yeah, no, it, 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 it styles that make fights. Andre is, 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 is Andre's style is all wrong for Canelo. Canelo absolutely knows it. Man, how many <laughs> barn burners? How many barn burners Saunders had? Yeah, yeah. Saunders didn't have some trash ass fights too, and I fucks with Saunders. No, but he, he's had more Willie Monroe, you know, uh, Andy Lee type fights than he's had um, Lemieux and uh, yeah, that that one fight before the Murray fight and the Eubanks. You know what I mean, like. Yeah, you know, so it's like, yeah, people, people, yeah, people gotta put respect on Andre's name. Like, you know, he's a very different. Yeah, I mean. You know, regardless of his competition, it's unfortunate. But that dude, that dude does pass the eye test. Like I said, he's not. I mean, he's not, fucking comments. Like I said, I mean, if he actually gets beaten easily by someone, that that would easily be a big upset. If anyone actually beats him easily, <laughs> I mean, that's a name boost on your resume. Like, yeah. I don't know why these guys don't want to do it. Like, honestly, if um, if he, if if um. If Charlo was to beat him clean, the biggest name on his resume. If Golovkin was to beat him clean, the biggest name on his resume. Biggest win. Easily. Easily. Yeah, no, look, for Alfred. Yes, man. Yes, bigger than Jacobs and Kel Brook. Yeah, so, I mean, it's one, it's one of those things. I mean, I know Eddie, you know, he you know, he did his promoter thing. It was like, yeah, you know, he, sh- he shitted on uh, Jamal Charlo's opponent some more and say, yeah, these guys have to fight each other. And they, and they do. And, yes, we all know. That, that Jamal Charlo and Dimitri Andre have you know have history. We are, we are, we are, we're all aware of the you know the fight that was supposed to happen uh, sometime sometime back. Well, no, that was Jamal. That was Jamal. No, that was Jamal. That was when they were yeah, at one fifty four. Yeah, wrong wrong Charlo. Ah. Wrong Charlo, but they were all three of them was in the division at the same all time. All three of them were in the same division anyway. So <laughs> yes. So, so that's the thing. Maul still get Maul get some of the leftover Canelo blame. Yeah, he do. Because you know, look, but... you got one fifty four, like, and and and, and Golovkin, he's getting the one sixty blame because he now he's been at one sixty just like you have, and he's made like four defenses, like y'all on the same platform, like come on, like yeah, no, know, yeah, yeah, keep yeah. it real, like yeah, they they got happen, and like and like I said, I mean. 
You can't make the fight like the, the, all the middleweight champions just need to make their fights because, like I said, Charlo, Jam- uh, Jamal Charlo is now you know he's fighting someone who's arguably is probably the worst of every you know you know he's not even a man though that's how bad it is. If he was a man, you could at least you know try to reason the shit with him, but he's not even a man though <laughs> you know. So it's like you got that, and then you got this, and and we, then we got Triple G. That we don't know if he's got when he's got actually going to come back. If it, you know, the, they're talking that December stuff, unification with Murata, but nothing in between. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm like, wait, that's in December. The fuck, we we only gonna fight once a year now? Like, <laughs> fight in June. Crazy. Yeah, so yeah, the middleweight middleweight division needs to get its get its shit together, like big time. Like, you know, like it, like somebody has to face someone that's like. Because if that's what he's gonna do, you may as well just be on some Pacquiao shit and just give up the belt. I let him take the belt from you, and you just just be, you know, retired, semi-retired, chilling. I'm saying, you know, like, yeah, there's there, there's absolutely no reason for you know to anyone. And I already have a fighter. I, I, I already I already stand a fighter who actually is on that one year, uh, one year shit. So it's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, we. We all we all stand fighters that are on that one year or in, in our case fucking know, right? two years now. Yeah, well, I, think, I think we're all Thurman fans in here, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a three three Thurman stands and a Gary Russell Jr. stand. So we know we 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 already deal with the inactivity shit from our fighters. We don't want to see yeah. it. We don't want it from anybody else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the thing is, I, I try not to be too hard on him because he's older, and I know how. You know, he was dug legitimately in his prime, but it's kind of like, like, damn, okay, man, like, make a move already, like, right. like I, you, you can't defend it. I don't try to defend it for nobody, but yeah, it's like, like, dude, Murata, like, for New Year's Day with the December 31st. Why, why New Year's? Like, they can have that unification in June or fucking Jul- or July, August, like, why are, they, why are they waiting for like what's so special about fucking that's what i'm saying but you gotta like, wait all y'all, the- y'all really want a marquee fight that day like i know y'all be having fights that day but yeah that's, that's, that's the thing like they, they always had, uh, like in the past they've always had fights on on the 31st or whatever like they, they for some reason they always hold that yeah, like, monster fight. fights really yes yeah. <laughs> and they said nah nah we need like gods in the first is good love kid yeah <laughs> yeah, I, want to see, I, I, I want to see one or three between um, whether it be Golovkin, um, Andre, and uh, Mangia. You know, one, one player that three somehow, some way by by years in. Yeah, like, exactly. And the winner, the winner somehow fall into the ring with Charlo. Yeah. Somehow. <laughs> but yeah, it's, yeah, the middleweight division is just like it, 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 right now. There's no rhyme or reason you know people are, the, the champions are just doing what they need to do uh it, 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 it's it's let's keep it real it's 147 light yeah no it, it, it for sure like yeah, Shit, that might be worse than 147 yeah it, it's getting to be in and, and, and at one time 140, 160 was actually pretty progressive but yeah now it's just like yeah it, it's a big mess now yeah. You know, so yeah, but I'm not nothing to take away to Andre. Andre, though, still, I mean, he, he was a little rusty, though, but he still proved that he was still he's still a very formidable fighter. He's still a very dangerous fighter. So it's like, don't take yeah, this. That was a good like 14 months, 15 month layoff, right? 14 yeah. months. Mm. I mean, you were in the house for his last fight, anyway. So yeah, it's been yeah. a minute. <laughs> so. So yeah, so that so like I said, it was it was a it was it was it was a good little appetizer, you know, and you know, which segues into uh, the third and. Fourth.